Greetings, everybody. Well, what can I say? It's the weekend, and it's snowing like crazy outside. Yeah. Um, it's like, seriously? We haven't gotten hardly any snow at all, and now all of a sudden, hey, we're supposed to get like two to three to maybe even four inches, supposedly. Oh, well, that's fine with me. So what does that mean? That means it's media time. Yeah, so that could be video games, books, music, movies, you name it. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, got a small little pile of stuff to uh, go through. Uh, well, first off, um, with it obviously being past Valentine's Day at this point, uh, I meant to, you know, do a couple of Valentine's Day related videos, but... Never got around the chance to do it, so, oh, well, this will just have to do. So, all right, so, well, um, first a uh, couple things, I, well, only two things I'm going to show off with this one are the two things that I got uh, my wife for Valentine's Day this year. Uh, so, first off, we have a Blu-ray, and we have a video game. Yeah, one that I've been searching for for quite a while. <laughs> Very long time indeed. Um, yeah, so... Uh, first off, let's get the Blu-ray out of the way. So we have a brand new release. Uh, I got her uh, the brand new Hunger's Game, the Hunger Games. Yeah, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is the prequel to the, of course, the really awesome uh, series. Uh, but the funny thing is, is that I noticed that with this cover, I think this is an exclusive Target um, slipcover. Because uh, the other cover actually uh, is the exact same as, of course, the picture art, as you see here on the front and, of course, on the back. Now, the reason why I say this is because I noticed that on the back of the regular slipcase, all the photos that were just seen on the back of this is the exact same. This, however, actually has different cover uh, art. Actually has features, of course, uh, you know, um, the young, uh, of course, the young character of Snow there, and of course, uh, his love well, interest. Uh, now, the funny thing is, I have not actually read uh, the prequel, but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, actually sitting down and actually watching this, because I never did dig in to see it in theaters, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, I think that's actually kind of cool that it's actually a, I think it's a, uh, um, uh, exclusive, um, uh, you know, slipcase, or slipcover. And then, well, let's just say, I think I hit the, the mother load here. Um, <laughs> what can we say? Uh, I have been hunting for this game for a number of years for, and lo and behold, let's just say I got one hell of a deal. Yeah. Uh. Got a game she's been wanting for numerous years. She used to have it many years ago, and, you know, at the time when the GameCube, of course, was coming out and all that. Um, you know, it's time to get rid of some things. And, unfortunately, this is one of the games that, sh that uh, you know, well, wish the, you know how it is when you buy a game and you wish you held on to it and you end up selling it. And then so many years later, you're like, well, crap. Should have held on to that game, Right. Well, let's just say it is finally here in the Nintendo 64 collection. I found Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah, I've been looking for this game for years. Uh, paid not a bad price for it. I actually managed to get this uh, for 30 bucks. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, you know, what can I say, though? Can't wait to play it. Um, the funny thing is, I've never actually played uh, the, this game at all. I know of it, but, you know, so what are you going to do? Alrighty, so uh, on top of that, uh, we are going to also go through a pile of stuff that I picked up. Yeah, might as well, right? Um, so this actually is all from a um, little... Uh, Goodwill run that I decided to do and uh, kind of combined in a few places and whatnot. So let's get right to it. So, ah, alrighty. So first up, um, this book obviously is, well, I bought it 
at Walmart because I was really wanting it. And uh, what can I say? Uh, I love the movie. I know a lot of people really were kind of so-so on it. But, you know, what can we say? It's only part one of two. And can't wait to see what the director's cut version of uh, this film is going to be. Um, but I have the novelization of Rebel Moon Part 1, uh, Child of Fire. And, of course, the sequel, Part 2, uh, will be coming out um, I think fairly soon. So, yeah, can't wait to actually read this and see kind of what the difference is between... Uh, what was cut out of the original cut, but I'm sure that there probably will be more awesome stuff and whatnot. But uh, like I said, this is only part one, and I know uh, Snyder's going to release part two, obviously with director's cuts coming from both versions. But I think what would be cool is if they also did like a deluxe cut where they put both of them together. That would be awesome. So yeah, what can we say? The man knows how to direct a movie, let me tell you. Alrighty, so then up next, uh, let's put these down here, little figurines, little figurines are the way. Alright, so up next, got another novel, um, uh, since I'm a big fan of the Bond franchise, uh, now this is kind of one of the, um, books of the series that, uh, really hasn't been adapted at all, but, um, you know, what can we say, uh, it's, it's one of the novels that actually isn't written by uh, Fleming, but it's actually written by uh, Raymond Benson, who actually has done loads of Bond novels, including, of course, one of my favorites. Um, you know, obviously, you know, Tomorrow Never Dies, but also the fact that, uh, you know, that, you know, he and also uh, John Gardner have been keeping the Bond novelization franchise alive since then, but... Uh, so here we have, of course, uh, High Time to Kill. Yeah. Um, yeah, what can we say? Two bucks. That's not bad at all at, uh, Discreet, at Goodwill. Yeah. That's one thing I hate about Goodwill now is that now they're basically pricing, you know, their books and stuff basically as they see fit, which I think is stupid. But, you know. Oh, uh, well, that's only going to hurt you. Alrighty, so up next, uh, these two uh, DVDs, they're, well, movies were uh, part of, um, that I found at a local thrift store that I visit every now and then. Uh, for those of you that have a Trader Baker in your area, you know exactly what it is I'm talking about. Because uh, you never know what you're going to find there. You know, find some good goodies. Like, for example... <laughs> You can tell that uh, this actually, I think, was from a library in Michigan. Of course, it's from Ann Arbor, or it could be anywhere, who knows. But we have um, a Spielberg movie, which uh, one of his I haven't seen, actually. A uh, fairly new, recent uh, release. Uh, we have Empire of the Sun on uh, Blu-ray, yeah. And, yeah, as you can tell, it is Blu-ray, thank God. And, um, you know, yes, I know the cover's crappy and it's all very library-ish, but, you know, like, eh, maybe one of these days I'll find a Blu-ray cover and a Blu-ray case and I'll put that in there and get rid of this garbage. So, then also I found a multi-pack, of course, of one of my favorite actors, of course, of all time, being none other than Arnold, you know, <laughs> as everybody and their dog knows how to do the grunt. But um, the funny thing is, these are all movies of his I have not seen. Uh, so here we have uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger Comedy Favorites Collection. Yeah. Um, this must be a Canadian release because it's got, of course, uh, you know, English and French on the back. And same thing with everything else. Uh, but so we have, of course, uh, Twins, Kindergarten Cop, and Junior. Now, I've never seen Junior I've heard of Twins, but never seen it, but I vaguely remember Kindergarten Cop, I think, but um, I think the thing I really added on that movie is when he yells, uh, put that cookie down. I think that's about all I really know. Or the, oh, then the other line is, who is your daddy and what does he do? So, yeah, what can we say? It's Arnold. <laughs> Alrighty, so finally to end out the uh, the rest of the Goodwill run. Uh, so here we have, uh, well, the only Blu-ray that I got from there. 
Surprised I didn't have it. Uh, what can we say? Um, it's awesome. And I'm, uh, now I have seen this movie before, but uh, um, but I'm kind of glad that I found it with the uh, slip cover, which is awesome. Uh, so here we have, based on a true story, we have starred Mark Wahlberg. We got Lone Survivor. Yeah, this movie's awesome. Uh, really well directed, of course, by Peter Berg, uh, who of course did. Um, lo he's done loads of great movies, including uh, The Kingdom. Um, what else has he done? Uh, he's also done, uh, well, Battleship. I know everybody despises that movie, but hey, basically, that movie's pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, but also he did, uh, Deepwater Horizon, which I absolutely loved, and of course, uh, Patriot's Day. Uh, of course, you know, based on a true story with, um, you know, Mark Wahlberg playing, of course, uh, Marcus uh, Luttrell, uh, who actually did survive. Uh, during the Operation uh, Red Wings uh, thing in uh, Afghanistan, of course. But a uh, really well movie. Really, really well directed. Really awesome flick. Um, so up next we have a movie for the uh, Disney collection, which, well, I don't really have this edition. I've been looking for it for a while, but, you know, what can we say? Um, uh, of course, you know, the first movie's awesome. The second one's pretty good, but the first... The first, the edition that I had of the first of the second movie uh, didn't really have much anything as far as bonus features go, but now I have it here in the collection. We have the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. This is the three disc collector's edition, which abs is absolutely butt loaded with extras. I mean, now this is what the uh, was missing, of course, from the um, original release. Um, you know. Loads of great bonus features and whatnot. Three discs, of course, the third disc being that stupid digital copy disc, which nobody ever, the dog ever used. But, uh, yeah, what can we say, though? It's uh, I hate those discs because even though if you have the digital copy on the disc, you still can't get, get it, which is stupid. Alrighty, then up next, we have a couple of seasons of TV shows. Yeah, I've been, of course, I remember when the, when the first season came out, uh, me and my best friend, we went out and we, uh, we both bought a copy. And we had no idea that the show even went on after that. Uh, but here we have um, starring uh, Zachary Quinto, of course Spock from the more modern J.J. Abrams uh, Trek movies. We got Heroes Season 2. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we also have... Heroes Season 3, so all I need is Season 4, and I will have the complete original run of the series. I think there was that Heroes Reborn, I think is that uh, one season spent off or something, but yeah. Alrighty, then finally we have ourselves a video game. Yeah, I was kind of surprised I found this, and uh, let's just say that... Uh, this game, of course, is very hard to, uh, to find. I think this is actually the original release. Um, yeah, now the sticker price that you see on here, no, I did not pay that price because, well, what can we say? I don't think that they, uh, they don't sell uh, games that, uh, well, they don't sell, really sell Wii games at uh, GameStop, obviously, anymore because I think that's a GameStop sticker on here. But we have, for the Nintendo Wii, Manhunt 2. Yeah, I've never actually played this. And from what I gather, it is uh, insane and crazy. And thank God it actually came with the manual. Yeah, so what can we say? Uh, not bad at all for roughly about... See, I paid uh, only three bucks. Yeah, so that's not bad at all for that small little haul there. Alrighty, well that does it for me and you for now. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.